What's going on, guys? Kyle the Car, guys. Join with Angel. How's it going, everyone? Of the card, guys. Um, so we've obviously been on our DBS hype, and with Set Three Cross Worlds coming out, um, there's been a lot of controversy and everybody complaining about Mecha Frieza um, being obviously the most broken leader we've ever seen by miles, right? And um, and so we've heard actually a lot of different stores banning Mecha Frieza. Oh, that's something that I couldn't believe. Like we played Yu-Gi-Oh for a while for a very long time, and there's been so many insane formats and they never actually like would just straight out ban an archetype but in this game people are actually really big on agreeing let's gentlemen not play mecha frieza so we made an alternative if they're gonna ban the mecha frieza we're still gonna try to play do our best to play gt as best as we can we're gonna use our girl the pan she is bay as most of you know, unawakened side, when you summon a 15, it gets pumped up by five. If it hits 20K, you draw a card. Fantastic. When you awaken, instead of like most leaders where you're gonna draw a card, draw two cards, my bad. You stand two energy. It sounds bad at first, but it actually comes up really clutch because then you end up playing two drops for free, such as like Grand Tour or Quick Rush Trunks. So there are times where it comes up. And then awaken side, same thing. Whenever you play a guy, if it's 15 and it gets pumped up by, by pan and gets to 20K, and you draw a card again. So there's a lot of times where you're gonna stay unawakened for a, a little hot second, and then you're gonna like awaken on your turn, but you're gonna do the, that effect twice and then swing, so you end up drawing three cards in one turn. So that comes up a lot. It's quite good. Drawing three cards sounds pretty good. Okay, so let's see your alternative to this. So we start off, you got four pint size. So Pine Size, you play him, you look at the top seven, you grab a GT Go Sun Goku. Very good. Probably like one of your better turn zero cards. Main reason we did put him in here is because the deck didn't originally have a good turn zero play, so this is just a fantastic card for that reason. Plus when you summon him turn zero, or turn one, and after they had a turn zero, then he's a 10K. So you can actually just swing in their leader if you want to, just to like put a little pressure with them. So that's actually like a really fantastic iteration it has. Then next we have for Russian Warrior Pan. That card's insane. Yeah, so this card, when you play it, you give on any other red card 5,000 attack or power, which is extremely useful. There's a lot of moments where this comes up really clutch with other cards you'll see later on in the deck. And then when you combo with it, you draw a card. So this is, in a sense, a more aggressive version of Boo, and it's pretty nice that they gave red a, a Boo finally. So this card's fantastic. Unfortunately, it only comes with a structure deck, so you can't get a hollow one, but it still does the job quite well. Uh, next, we have four on Ending Awakening. So this is a card I've been really back and forth on. I love the card. It's just I've been really back and forth on the number, whether it be three to four. Like sometimes three is better, sometimes four is better. It's really back and forth. But so when you it's counterattack, when you use it, it negates the attack, and then it gives a Red Saiyan leader 5,000 attack. So in a sense, it's a Wee Spin, which is a very, it's all absolutely awesome, very fantastic. Comes up really clutch. You can like protect a lot of your battle cards with it, and as you're protecting battle cards, you're gradually making your leader stronger and stronger, which is absolutely fantastic. Then for our super combo, we are playing Handy Giru. You have to play this one, right? It has to be this one. The other one doesn't matter. This one is a dancing robot. That immediately makes it way better than any other super combo. If they <laughs> ask what this card does, just let them know that it is a dancing robot, and that is all they need to know. Let's continue. Right. Then we have four Grand Tour. This card is insane. You pay two, you look at the top seven, and pretty much everyone who's in the picture, you can grab, whether it be a Trunks, Goku, a Pan, or little Giru. You, if they're 15,000 or less attack power, you put them out on your field. If this card comes up a lot, because you play this card, and you end up being able to summon like three drops a turn earlier in a sense. So you're summoning a three drop on turn two, which is absolutely fantastic, especially when you're summoning 15 K and then Pan lets you draw a card and then go up to 20k and you have like determined Goku that is a 15k crit and then you so you draw with Pan and he gets so it goes up to 20 and he has crit or you have quick rush trunks goes up to 20 he has crit like this card has a, has a lot of fantastic targets 
Um, then we have four Quick Crush Trunks, one of my favorite cards, one of my favorite new red cards. This card is absolutely insane. So he's a two. The only downside is he needs two red. So for people that want to like mix and match the colors, that can hurt a little bit. But he's two red, and he has critical. He's 15. So when you play him, your pan leader lets you draw a card. That's fantastic. So if he's a 20k crit on turn two. That's amazing. Most decks will not try to de defend against it, and they're just going to gladly take a life, and it'll go to the lovely drop area. Next, we have four Determined Super Saiyan Son Goku. So this is the other guy I was talking about with Grand Sword. You play Grand Sword, and then you're able to summon this on turn two. Puts you pretty nicely ahead. This card is just fantastic. It gets you the draw with Pan, a hatch crit. When you're at 14, when you're at um, four prizes left, then you're able to make it its cost go from three to five only on the on the battle area, and that comes up later on for another card in the deck that you'll see very shortly. But this card is absolutely fantastic. There's a lot of amazing plays you could do with it. It's just great. Then next, one of my favorite cards in the deck is Combination Pan. So this card's really. At first, when I first started working on the deck, this card didn't work that well. And then me and my brother started working more around with him, and because we knew we wanted to try to use this card, because the card's really, really strong. So if you have a Sun Goku GT or a Trunks GT, and they are 25,000 of power or more, you're able to special this card just right out without paying the cost. And then once per turn, you can pump it, uh, Trunks or a Goku with 5,000 power. And it, it can just leave this on the field every single turn. You can keep doing it. It's once a turn, so that's amazing. And then, so in a sense, it's a free 10k because you'll summon it, give a Trunks or a Goku 5,000, then you combo with it, it's another 5,000. So you pretty much special the 5,000 or 10,000 for free. And sometimes you can use Fearless Pan and give it 5,000 more and double strike. So sometimes you can actually fight with it. So this card's fantastic. And then we got fearless, four Fearless Pans. This, this card's insane. It's a blocker, it has berries. When you play it, it gives every red card on your board except itself double strike and 5,000 attacks. So it's absolutely insane. There's so many like OT practical OTKs you could do with this deck because of this card just pumping up your whole field, even giving your leader double strike. It's absolutely bonkers. Then it being a barrier blocker is very nice. Barrier blockers. Barrier blockers are insane right now. <laughs> There's not a lot of ways to deal with them. You just look at it and it looks pretty and you just sit, kind of deal with it in some way. But this card's very good, leads to a lot of really big game shots. Then we got four double shot Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta. This card's very good, very fantastic, just normal, really nice. One Little 115s, you played on the opponent's turn, Pan gets a draw off it since it's a once per turn, and it's not only on our turn. So then it's a 20k, thanks to Pan, so they have to get 20k or 25k if they want to actually try to run this over. Most of the time they're just going to leave it there. If they do try to deal with it, most of the time you only have to use 5k to defend before it. So this card is just fantastic. Really good swarming, especially when you like have like two of these, and then you go Fearless Pan, and then you have, now they are 20ks with double strike. It's nuts. And um, then next card we have Pride and Justice Topo. I think it's my favorite card in the entire deck. I would agree. This card is quite powerful. He's a negate attack. When my or my opponent's leader is at 15,000 power or more, you're able to summon him, count, use the counter attack for only two instead of four. So that immediately makes him like so, more, so, so good. And then he has a Jiren-like effect where whenever he kills something, he can restand himself. So in a sense, he could just sit there and just pop, 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 pop. It's just absolutely bonkers. There's so many like crazy plays you could do with this card. This card is very, very good. One of the strongest cards in the deck. Um, the next card is two chain attack trunks. So this is one of those weird cards that it's good, but it's very niche. There's a lot of like particular types of hands and situations that this card's good for. But when those situations come up, it's absolutely amazing. Like, because if you keep, if you have quick rush trunks on the board and it survives a turn, then you play two, summon this, and then use its effect. It summons out of 15,000 or less to your field, and most of the time you'll summon like fearless pan. So you play this pan, get pan leader it makes it go up to 25. And then you use its effect to summon to summon Fearless Pan, now it's up to 30k, and it has double strike, and then you could special some combination pan, and now it's at 35, and it hasn't even and you haven't even gotten into combo phases, so this thing can get really big really fast. Then one of the biggest win conditions what determine evolves into is Victorious. Sun 
Victorious Fist, Super Saiyan 3 Son Goku. This card's insane. I was trying I was trying Broken Limit for a little while, and then everyone just kept saying, you're crazy, you just run this card. And I started running it, and this card really is really good. So you can EX Evolve him. EX Evolve him, for those who don't know, you tap a red, and you discard a card, and then you put him on top of Determined, but it has to be five or higher Goku. And so that's where, when you're at four prizes left, um, Determined goes from a three on the field to a five, so you're able to evolve this one over him. And always remember, when you EX Evolve, it doesn't re-ready it. So if you like swung with Determined and then EX Evolve, this comes out rested, so make sure you don't mess up with that. It has Double Strike, and then once per turn, when it attacks, it goes, it readies itself right back up, and it has gains 5,000. So right off the bat, it's a 30k, which is all fantastic. So if you have Fearless, then it goes up 35. It already has Double Strike, but it still goes 35, and then Combination can pump it even more. There's a lot of ways to make this, like, the absurd win condition that we already know it is mm -hmm. like summoning a card this large for only one mana is pretty good and then the very last card in the deck is two scientists foo this card's unreal it's so free you just tap one and you draw you pretty much tap one to draw three cards and have a double striker this card's amazing there's so many like crazy ways you can like map out game with this card especially with pan leader being able to stand up energy and you just make a really huge push with like chain attack trunks bringing out fearless pan then going combination and then pushing with all of them that they somehow defend and then you have an energy left and you tap this and just tap it and then summon this guy and it's like at the 25k and if you hadn't used the awakens leaders ability yet, and it's 30k and you draw three cards it's really hard to stop it most of the time they won't be able to stop it and if they can't stop it then that's when we win and that's what we like any final thoughts on the deck what do you, what do you specifically think about it so obviously it's not as it's not going to be quite as fast as the mecha freeza version of it but that's just because mecha freeza is a very very good card so right now we're still think tanking everything, still trying to make all the right ratios, working around all the different matchups. But so it, there's a, it's going to be a process to find the perfect build for it. But this is what we got going so far, and it's been working pretty well so far. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. If you guys have any suggestions you want to oh, yeah, make on the right deck, now. put them down in the comments. We'll all obviously reply to them and, and give our thoughts. And hopefully we can have like a nice discussion in the comments. Yeah. Um, also, check out our sponsor, k, &K Games. Yeah, those guys. Those guys are, group of guys those guys are the shit. So, um, but yeah, if you guys want to see any more decks from Angel, from Josh, from Lloyd, from myself, obviously give us yeah, suggestions. Let us, um, let us know and we'll see what we can brew up and, and obviously bring to you guys since we do right now have pretty much access to all the cards minus like just one or two. So. Yeah. Which is the new like tournament pack. So. Yeah, only a couple left. Awesome. But yeah, leave a like on the video, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on so you know when. Uh, oh, that one. <laughs> So when you know uh, we have a video going up, that's pretty much it for us. It's Angel Cow with the Car Guys. We'll see you guys later. Have a nice one, guys.